Today we're talking about the Ephraim 9 common manuals you can earn in update 8.9 for Fae. For 300 Ephraim, the first 5 star common manual is Ascended Hilda. Hilda has one rare skill in Velocity. This is a dodge B skill that grants no guard as its secondary effect. I personally think it's one of the best dodge skills and they just never put it on another unit and there's no tier 4 yet. Kind of feels like one of those they regret making. If you would like a good dodge skill, you can also grab Hilda's other two skills. Tech and Speed Solo 4 is not that great, but you can get the tier 3 from Summer Mail Shows. Joint Drive Speed comes from Drive Speed 2, which is only a good amount of free to play units like Totiu. If you have another tier 4 A skill, then you could skip Attack and Speed Solo 4. That is a lot of grails and feathers for a somewhat outdated A skill. For the most part, I think Hilda is worth grabbing just for velocity. Not having a tier 4 version is a little rough, but it's certainly serviceable for being a free pickup. Her other 5 star common manual is Constance. She has a solid array of skills like Harsh Command Plus if you want to remove debuffs. Tech and Speed Push 4 is easy to inherit, but not the top pick for most units. The recoil damage might be useful, and if anything, it's still a relatively fine attack and speed booster. Tank and Speed Push 3 is only a couple free to play units too. For her rarer skills, Attack and Speed Far Trace 3 is on two other units. There is no tier 4 yet, but it's a fine console skill for ranged units. As for Speed and Res Rain, I would say it's pretty valuable because we now have Hold and Crux tier 4 variants. Having a free upgrade path for that is pretty nice. Overall, this is a very good 5 star selection this month. I would say both units have useful skills you can put on a lot of other units, at least for some higher tier budget builds. Moving on to the 4 star common manuals, these cost 100 ephemera each. The returning Tempest Trials unit is Spring Linhart. In a sea of free to play archers from this year, Linhart carves his niche as the highest res archer in the game. His entire kit fits that role. At 4 stars, Sabotage Defense is only otherwise found on Cornelia for free to play units. At 5 stars, Linhart is another Stillwater 3 holder, useful if you want the tier 4 or Crystalline Water. The other free to play holder is Tea Time to you. For his Inherits Bow Bow, the Carrot Bow Plus is an attack and defense ploy type weapon. It does not inflict ploy or exposure statuses though, but it will attack on Discord for extra debuffing. Against, against foes with Discord, Carrot Bow also grants Omni Breaker, which is pretty good for a free to play weapon. Linhart is the best user of his bow, but if you have other high res archers, then it's a neat combat support hybrid. The most recent demote here is Patty. She's a fine offensive dagger unit and could even use the new Ice Dagger from the banner. At 4 stars, Patty has Pivot and Speed and Defense Ideal 3. This Ideal is also on Kamui. At 5 stars, you can get Del Range 3, neutralize footballs against ranged foes. Her weapon is the Miasma Dagger Plus, which grants plus 5 attack and speed and deals 7 splash damage after combat. This is the same as Sotari Dean's Bone Carver Plus. It's a fun little weapon. Our next three units are all launch units. Fates of Selena has the best gun in the game, Reposition. She also has Threatened Speed 3 and Tranquil Depth at 5 stars. Her inheritable weapon is the Armor Slayer, which does exactly what it says on the box. Next up is Marth. At 4 stars, you can get Pivot and Spur Speed 3. At 5 stars, he has Escape Round 3, which probably isn't worth 20,000 feathers. Last up for today is Adult Tiki. At 4 stars, you can get the consistent Bonfire Special and the not so consistent Defiant Attack. At 5 stars, Tiki has Spur Res 3, but other free to play units have this at 4 stars. Her weapon is the Lightning Breath plus Dragonstone. Distant counter, but the cost of plus 1 cooldown. I wonder what a weapon would need to have for them to add plus 1 cooldown as a balancing factor again. That'll be it for this video. I would say both 5 stars are worth grabbing. I think Velocity is quite strong, but they just never gave another chance, nor a tier 4. Now, Constance has a decent array of nice skills. Now that CYL has passed, I am thinking of investing in some other build projects. Spring Lane Hearts 1 up and thinking of building up. Hopefully, we get 700 Ephemera this month. Don't forget to use last month's Ephemera before it's gone. Thank you for watching, good luck getting what you want, and I will see you in the next video.